yeah, good morning, guys. Another day, uh, last day in Moab. We are all packed up here. Uh, yesterday, we had a little bit of a mishap on a trail. Um, that's where, at the point where I left, where they went to chicken corners. They broke the rim. So right now, we just patched it up, put a tube in there. So this is where the rim is messed up. It's bent pretty bad, but we removed the TPMS sensor and we stuck the 21 inch tube in there to patch it for now. So that should give us enough lean away to get back to Calgary. So today we will be start starting to head back. We will be doing this in smaller jumps uh, over four days. Still gonna do some scenic roads maybe, but so yeah, all the boys are ready and uh, setting up the GPSs. Two of them are heading in a different direction. Hello. This dude Hello. is going to you? California, Los Angeles. California. This guy, God Hello. knows where he goes from here. <laughs> Push. Push. Sipping beer in the morning, Push. that's great. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Let's hope no more trouble, because troubles are all every trip. As you follow my channel, there's always shit happening when we go for a longer adventure. Never fails, there's always something. So that's the little cabin that we were staying over for nights here, or sun outdoors camping in Moab downtown. There's another one uh, as uh, just behind the Arches National Park. Uh, that one is much bigger, but also it seems like it's much easier to find a place here, even though right now on a weekend, everything is fully booked. There's no rooms because we tried to extend it for one more night. The fun in Moab ends. We're leaving Moab at this point and rolling slowly back home. Everybody's saying that we will be back. When? I don't know, because we were here quite often lately. <laughs> and let's see what the day brings today. It looks like we're going to Onion Creek. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs>
these views here are just past uh, Onion Creek. Still riding along the Colorado River Canyon. Very scenic road. So if you're ever coming from Moab top towards I-70, that's a perfect way to take it this way. So we will be crossing the Colorado River to the other side now. Oh, the bridge right along the side here too. Gone. That's gone. It used to be a suspension bridge. It's in pieces. So it looks like we're slowly leaving the red rock behind us. The color has changed. It's like, uh, I don't know, more creamy. Not as red as it was just a few miles back. Oh, the mountains are almost gone now. We have little leftovers. <laughs> and, a main, and a big desert. <laughs> bye bye, Moab. See you next time. So now we just got in on I 70 heading east towards Grand Junction. And as we see, the vegetation starts to show up. Small, but but it's coming up. Before there was not a single tree except the ones by the river. And now here the vegetation you can see here on the desert is showing up. Another state to check off the list on this trip. I don't I don't know how many mile markers there is. What's the last one? Welcome to Colorful Colorado and for once they actually have a stop on the interstate which is awesome, not many states do that. There we go, Colorado, it starts to look different. It just crossed the state line and uh, everything looks different. <laughs> it's like crossing to every other state. Unless you are in uh, prairie states, they're all similar. And yeah, it is super windy today, which is actually okay in some way. Because uh, it's cooling us off, because it's hot.
box. Oh wow, where's this all the way? So we will be leaving Colorado again for a little bit and crossing Utah State one more time because we are trying to get north and that's a totally different road that we never went on and it's a beautiful road. The tube is holding well for already since this morning, that's a good sign. That's the scar, still holding well. Hopefully it will be all good by the time we get to the end of it. We, we gotta have a quite big elevation, elevation gain. I, I can tell you exactly how high we are. 8,052. Yep. <laughs> 8,000 feet it is, baby! how ship cut or it could be a problem. That's why it says 25.
we're here. But the wind is nuts. So we're riding already for a couple good few hours in heavy wind. And it doesn't look like it's gonna give up. But gotta push it. Still in Utah. Now we're going to the mountains again. What kind of mountains? <laughs> That's a good question. Natural desert, desert, ancient sand. And again, dinosaurs, ancient river beds, petrified. You can dig here for dinosaurs if you want, because it's a public land to on, on some of it. Second time today we're hitting 8,400 feet of elevation and we're still going up, so it might get even higher. We'll see. How much higher? Are we gonna hit 10,000 or no? We're gonna put it on the elevation part to monitor that stuff. So we just entered Flaming Gorge National Forest. Looks like we will be descending from here. My ass is sore already. Oh, I gotta stand up. And we lo it looks like we have some smoke, like a forest fire on the left side, blowing down here. A very productive day again. And uh, maybe some view coming up here.
right guys, the return day one completed. We found the campsite at the end of the day, just setting up everything slowly. I still got a lot of time. Look, the guys are already set up and here is me, still working on it. So that would be my spot. It's wide open and a few trees. And Robert is gonna be ready in no time. My turn. The camp is set up and time to eat something and call it a day. One cold brew for the evening as yesterday was way too much. If you guys like that video today, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week in the next video. Cheers. Kurwa liże, nawet i w sweterku. 10473. I wouldn't drink anything. After yesterday I don't want to have no drinks. But no, no hangover though. No hangover, it was felt crappy, taki przymulony. <laughs>